The greatest scientific discovery of all time. A team of scientists from the University of Cambridge have detected a possible biosignature on a mysterious planet called K218b. That biosignature is a molecule called dimethyl sulfide, DMS for short, which scientists have detected floating around in K218b's atmosphere. That's pretty exciting news because on Earth, DMS is only produced in one way, by living things. There's an excellent chance we just detected alien life for the first time. Or is there? Located in the constellation Leo, K218b can be found 124 light years from Earth. On a human scale, that is a distance so vast it's beyond imagination. It was first discovered in 2015 by the now retired exoplanet hunting Kepler Space Telescope. Despite technically orbiting its parent star in the habitable zone, at first it didn't look like the greatest candidate for possible biosignatures. It's simply too different to the only planet in the universe that we know for sure harbors life, ours. However, in 2019, scientists made a discovery that changed everything. Water vapor in K218b's atmosphere. It was enough to convince NASA it might be worth pointing the soon-to-be-launched James Webb telescope in K218b's direction. But all is not quite as it seems. The 2025 study that made headlines around the world focused its analysis on the key assumption that K218b is an ocean planet with a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. Some scientists believe K218b is more likely to be a magma world covered in an ocean of molten rock. Others that it's a mini Neptune with no distinct surface at all. The fact all three of these wildly different scenarios are still on the table shows how little we really know about this distant world. A couple of weeks after the publication of the bombshell paper, a physicist from Oxford University reanalyzed the spectral data using a different model with different assumptions and concluded that there was no evidence for DMS whatsoever. The fact that two different teams of scientists can take exactly the same data and come up with completely different results is a pretty good indicator of just how tricky transit spectroscopy really is, at least for now. This is science at the very limit of both our current tools and our understanding of many of the concepts involved. The universe is big and there's lots of weird sh going on that we don't really understand very well. But these results do give us a strong incentive to keep studying K218b. It's very likely to be another false alarm, but it's an interesting planet nonetheless. And the only way to be certain, one way or the other, is to gather more data. 